Hey guys, let's go! It's kind of a Robinson Crusoe experience. And look at how beautiful this is. For one month, I've been traveling the Philippines and today I'm gonna tell you my favorite destinations in this beautiful country. Let's start with Shargao. I just made it to the island of Shargao, which is our next destination of this great trip in the Philippines. This is probably the most Instagram famous place that we're gonna visit in this itinerary. Now, Shargao is the backpacking paradise of the Philippines. It's literally Bali, but 10 years ago, but it still maintains the Filipino you know, roots. So if you want to travel to a place that is authentic and still has lots of backpackers and surf, definitely surf, then go to Shargao. This, by the way, guys, is Cloud9, and it's my favorite street to stay at. There's lots of hostels, lots of great food options. It's near the surf spot, and it has some of the best island life that you can find around here. Now, the next place that I'm gonna talk about is Coron. Hey, guys, so today we are here in Coron, and we are in this boat. We're gonna go into different places, different stops, and this island is just so beautiful. Honestly, Coron has been the most beautiful place that I've been in the Philippines. It's this desert island right here called Malcapuya, right? Yes. Yeah. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, you guys. I'm Stevie. I'm Fonzie's new friend. Yes. This island is actually kind of a desert island. You can stay there and you can even camp or stay in one of the bungalows and the experience is incredible. It's cozy actually. It's in the cozy. Philippines it's called a Bahay Kubo. Ah, Bahay Kubo? Yes, Bahay Kubo. Okay. So it's made of straw and uh, there are beds inside, there's no fan, there's no aircon, so it's all just the air from the outside. That's, it. That's the experience of last night. All about nature. Yes, yes for exactly. sure. For sure. All cultural experience. Yes, yes. You'll have that Robinson Crusoe experience that you may have dreamt of. You can stay in this island, watch the stars at night, and it's just magical. The beach is so beautiful, and honestly, it's so worth the price. It will feel like you are in a movie. You know, it's incredible. So, if you want to have that desert island experience, definitely come to this island right here. It's very close to Coron, so you will only have to take a ferry there and you're happy with it. The next destination that I'm going to talk about, it's a ferry away from Cebu, which is one of the main airports in the Philippines. Now, this is Sikihor. Hello! Okay guys, so stop number one of the trip. So we are going around Sikahor Island today. So we're going on a tricycle and we're just gonna scoot around the whole of the island and this is stop number one. So I've got my feet here and the, the little fishies, they eat all the dead skin off of your feet. We have no idea what are the so <laughs> Wait, can you see it? They're biting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're okay, biting no, no, no. I'm gonna see how this is like. <laughs> This is weird. Go oh, put it down. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh. It feels weird, but it's actually it's actually cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sikihor it's a very local and authentic island, still not too, you know, touched by tourism. And honestly, this is the most incredible island that I've visited in terms of local life. You can taste the local Filipino food. You can actually go to some a little bit scary healing places hey. <laughs> but you can actually do some rituals if you are into that <laughs> Bye. and it's like all the healing rituals and stuff like that i didn't do it again but if that's your thing you can have it there and also you have some really really nice beaches 
everything looks incredible. So Sikihor, it's the hidden gem of the Philippines. If you want to go there, go there before the world spreads out. The next place I'm gonna talk about is Cebu. I've been traveling the world for five years and the biggest question is how do you afford it? And also, how do you make friends? And the answer is this, staying in hostels. You can actually get your private room, but what I would recommend is to get a four people dorm. You can get a six people dorm, a 12, I've seen a 20 people dorm even, but that's too many people in the same <laughs> room. My favorite combination right now, after some years traveling, it's the four people dorm. The reason why is you will get to meet people, those people can more likely become your friends because, you know, there's only four people. And also, you know, it will feel a little bit more private. What I always try to do is get a four people dorm with a bathroom, with an end suite bathroom. I don't really like the common showers and toilet situation. I think you need privacy for the toilet. But yeah, definitely go and search the hostels you you want in hostelworld.com. This is not a sponsor by them, but this is the page where I can find all the reviews, the best prices. So yeah, definitely go there. Everybody checks it out, right? Actually, Cebu has good day trips like Moal Boal. Moal Boal is a day trip that you can do from Cebu and you will see the incredible snorkeling places. Hey guys, so today it's day one in Cebu and we are going canyoneering. That's why we're like with this guy <laughs> vest right here. So ready. Yes, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. activity of the day we're gonna go and see some sardines and we're gonna just swim with like these huge groups of sardines let's go <laughs> Next destination would be Manila, the capital of the Philippines. Well, I made it to Manila and I'm gonna tell you a little bit of my first impressions of this city. I am in the neighborhood of Makati, which is all about high-rise buildings and it's one of the richest areas here in Manila. It actually reminds me, especially specifically this area, to Midtown Manhattan, but way, way, way more affordable, of course. And if you like big cities as much as I do, give it a try. I feel like the city, the city vibe here, the city life, it's just incredible. And it shouldn't be avoided. It's, there's so much to do. They have the biggest mall in the Philippines, Mall of Asia. Guys, this is huge. or like certain areas like Intramuros which is very very touristy. Hey guys so now I'm in the area of Intramuros here in Manila and you know this area is a colonial Spanish area so actually you know because of because I am from Spain everything sounds it looks very familiar everything you know looks like all kind of st Spanish style buildings <laughs> And Manila actually, you know, it's a wholesome place for me because I know I have a lot of friends there and yeah, I had such an amazing time while being in Manila. 
So definitely don't skip Manila while you're coming to the Philippines. Just know where to go and you'll be fine. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, give a like, and I'll see you in the next adventure.